This tutorial session is brought to you by Kali Tutors. In this tutorial session, we will be focusing on MyLab. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe to make sure that you get access to the latest videos the moment that we upload them. The main objective of this tutorial session is to take you through our MyLab link for those of you who haven't accessed my lab, I'll take you through the entire process, show you what the link looks like, how to deal with the link once you've received it. For those of you who have access, I'll take you through uh, the process of uh, accessing your my lab assignments and also uh, how to check your marks once you have submitted your work. Okay, so the first step is to get the link from piercings okay the link will have some, will look something like this it will say dear student uh it will write your student number there okay so it's dear student uh if your student number is 1 million or 10 million then it will say dear 10 million okay thank you for registering for piercing education online products save this important email for future reference you have successfully enrolled using course it okay so the next slide will show you the email that i received uh to get access to my lab this year okay so this is the email that i received from pearson it was directed to myself uh, so here you won't see any student number because i've hidden it uh, for those of you who would like to tease others so yeah i've made sure that i i hide my student number so i've ordered uh, i've also uh, hidden my student number here so here it uh, it used my student number at my life .unisa .ac .za, and then this is the instruction that they tell you that you should use okay you must click on for or for god password okay so let me take you through the process okay uh step number two you have to access uh my lab okay uh so once you receive that email you have to access my lab the first thing you do is to go to google and then type uh psn login press enter it will take you to uh, a web page that looks like this then you have to choose the first one uh, piercing sign in click on the piercing sign in then it will take you to a page that looks something like this once you get here since this is your first time you've only received the email okay you you need to click on for got your username or password click on this one here okay then it will take you to another page uh, that looks like this then here you need to choose email okay if you want to receive them uh, the email to reset your password then uh, select email and then here insert your your student number then at my life dot unisa dot ac dot za that will be your username okay then press send email Okay, once you've done that, it will tell you that, okay, uh, it has been sent to your student number. So your, your username or password request has been sent. Then after doing that, you need to go back to your Outlook, uh, check your emails. And then in your emails, you need to or access something that looks like this. You'll get a message that says, we received your username or password request. Okay uh don't worry about the rest here just come here and click uh reset uh it, please note that okay the link expires uh, in 24 hours so if you requested to reset your password and then you you got uh distracted and uh, and you wasted your time such that 24 hours had uh, elapsed then you need to request another another uh link okay you'll go back there and click on forgot password okay so once you here click on reset then it will take you to another page that looks like this okay once you get here it will say your student number here then it gives you instruction on how to 
choose a new password your password must have eight or more characters uh, at least one uppercase letter so uh, by uppercase they mean a, a capital right for those of you who are not familiar with computers okay you must have at least one letter in capital okay in capital letters and then you might actually you need to include a, a minimum of uh, one number so you can have one or more numbers uh, uh, type in your new your password this is a new password this is not my unisa password type it in and then uh, retype it here okay to confirm and then these two needs need to match uh, once they match then you click on change password okay once you click on change password it will tell you your password has been changed okay and then click on sign in okay uh, once you clicked on sign in it will take you to this page where you can log in uh, now you've got access okay so do not be discouraged uh, if you get to this uh, step and you try to sign in and instead of signing you in it takes you back to this uh, login page uh, once it does that please uh, close your browser so uh, just uh, close your google chrome and then open it again and try and then i'm sure the next time it will work okay uh, it happened to me and i uh, i really got uh, uh, angry but yeah after uh, closing the browser and restarting it i was able to log in okay so once you here uh, type in your student number at my life dot unisa dot ac dot za then click uh, sign in then it will take you to another page okay then it will take you to this is where you're gonna do everything so once you're here you've already logged in everything is okay you're sharp okay then once you get here uh, the first thing you need to do is to click on uh, EUP sim to blah 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 okay click on this then it will take you to another page uh, that page will have something that looks like this you don't have to do much here just go to course material click on course material okay and then after clicking on course material it will take you to this page here so these are your assignments you're gonna you're gonna have one two three four assignments and this one is your comprehensive e-textbook so if you want to learn you just come here and learn but these four are your assignments so to to access assignment number two which is your microsoft Word, you'll click on these three dots here and then select open okay after clicking open it will take you to a page that looks like this okay for some of us who got access late uh you'll see this here it says that past due date do not panic uh since they've told us that is they have extended the deadline to the 27th they will they will change the uh, they will change this sorry after some time okay uh and then you'll get your mark once this is changed the mark will will display here but for now you need to check your mark uh using a different method uh, i'll show you that in a in a short while okay so yeah once you here to get uh your 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 assignment material click on the three dots again uh, then when you click on the three dots it will take you to a page that looks like no it will open a tab I mean uh, that looks like this and then here you have three three options you you have one which is open uh, when you click on the open uh, it takes you to a site where you will get your 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 your, your material uh, you'll download your material and use those those files to actually do your assignments remember files cannot be shared they are unique for every individual so you have to click open then it will take you to another page but if you want to check your results you you have to click on view submissions okay view submissions will take you to a page where you can see your results so for example since we, we will submit late then uh, we'll use this option view view submissions if we had su submitted on time our mark will be displayed here will be displayed here but view submission has the added advantage uh, that it can show you where you went wrong 
and it becomes much easier for you to do your second attempt if you did not get 100%. Just make sure that you get 100% for all my lab assignments. If you feel like you're struggling or you don't have a computer, contact us. We'll do the assignment on your behalf, okay? Yeah. Okay, so when you click open, it takes us to this page here. So this is where, sorry, th that page is where you you download everything. Yeah, your material, uh, you download your material uh, in step one. You, you'll click here and then you'll get your materials. You can download them one by one or you can download a, a zip folder if you know how to extract it from a zip folder. Okay, this one is useless. We don't really do much here. Once you've done your assignment and you're ready to submit, remember if you downloaded uh, an assignment uh, that is in Word, you submit as Word. You don't change to PDF. If you downloaded an assignment that was in Excel, you submit in Excel. You do not change to PDF. Okay, that is very important information. Okay, so once we've done our assignment, we'll submit. We'll we'll choose the file here, and then we'll have to allow it to run until it gets to hundred percent. Uh, and then uh, once it does that then we can click on submit okay so as you can see it tells us that this activity is past you do not panic with the when you see this uh, the only disadvantage that this gives um, the uh, the only disadvantage due to this is that your mark won't be displayed on the first page but you can still see your results like I have just explained okay so let's move to the next uh, page after so once you click download you'll get something like this uh it has like one two files okay this assignment has two files download both files the first one will give you is the instructions files this one is where you're gonna do your work okay it will have your 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 name here uh you can download them one by one by clicking download here and this download here if you want to download them as a zip file you can click on this download here okay then uh okay once you're done with that then you've got everything you need for the assignment then you can continue with the assignment and thank you for watching this video